Feels good when the show starts. There's something about that song it gets me in the mood, you know. Could it be your own voice? I think <laughs> so. I think so. I don't know who sang it, but great job, great job. <laughs> it's good to have you here back again on your favorite show. It is Let's Talk. My name is Monique Betts. My name is Alan Jiro. Hi, guys. It's awesome to have you here. My name is Lydia KM, channeling Naomi Campbell today. Slash Ella. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I know you copy, but it's all right. We're good. My name is Dana DeGrazia. We would be twinning, but I, yes. won't cut, I won't cut my hair. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm -mm. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a fantastic show lined up, and there's just so much to talk about. But, of course, uh, we cannot ignore the fact that uh, there's a lot of uh, top stories making um, headlines on uh, social media, especially on Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, some bad news, um, and we want to just send uh, a shout-out here on Let's Talk. Mm -hmm. um, there's been the, the you know the missing plane and um, there's just so many things yeah? yeah yeah but we'll still move on to um i know lydia's got the topics of the day yes it is time for hot talk guys come and take a seat girl this is what you need let's talk let's talk, let's talk. Let's talk. You know, it kills me, it kills me, it kills me, it kills me when young people have no voices because at some point in my life, I actually thought that I was the most disenfranchised child, but I had a voice. At least I could speak up to the people that I thought were my oppressors. However, at Nairobi Girls, Moy Girls, sorry, there has been allegations of rape that have been confirmed but then the kids were told here keep quiet and don't tell your parents and you'll get a scholarship and it's just become a very ugly tone especially because last year same school in the heart of nairobi dorm fires i feel like now this is actually child abuse it's getting to a place where someone take this i can't do it oh, Ella. <laughs> um here's the thing because there's a way which um, everything is so hush-hush as far as the way we communicate about um, sexual violence, this doesn't take me back as much as, I, as it should. As I wish it took me back like I was so shocked, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of hush-hush happening about sexual allegations so much, even amongst adults, let alone children. However, when as teachers you have, you are responsible for the um, minors who are there in your school. We're not saying that you don't investigate and you don't go through the due process. No, absolutely do. However, the way in which you handle um, a child communicating something as ugly as rape, it's not keep this quiet and move on. Okay, so there's a reason I'm crying. Please forgive me for interrupting you. There's a reason I'm crying. It's because as we're kids, when we're growing up, we're always told that, you know what, you're lying when the maid beats you like a little too harshly, you're the one who's, you're not only the victim, you're the one who's lying. And I don't know what hell these kids are going through, but having been there once in my life, this is the ugliest story that I've had to talk about on this table this year, and I cannot actually. Sorry, we've got receipts. Yes, we do. Um, in an interview with journalists outside the school gate on Saturday evening, Mr. Mushiri said, the school had, quote, enough security. Another quote, there are guards here and it, and it is a very stable school, he said. Again, you never know with the girls. There could be, there could have been issues, but this is the time, this is the time some could even be trying to evade exams so they could be <laughs> taking advantage of that, unquote, he told the Sunday Nation. Can I say something, and it's gonna take a little bit long, so I just wanna warn you. People, last time the studies were done, granted, of course, these numbers fluctuate. Mm -hmm. Less than 2% of rape allegations that have been brought to prosecution were deemed to be false. Mm -hmm. And our first instinct is to always assume this woman is lying. Yeah. She's not telling the truth. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is not only does it damage the actual, what we would consider the real stories, mm -hmm. but my issue is, is that unless that number of false allegations reaches over 50%, reaches 51%, mm -hmm. It, you're better off, your bets are better believing these girls. Yeah. There are plenty of ways to evade exams. Mm -hmm. My sister once, when she was still here, a girl ate a cigarette to <laughs> evade exams, okay? Mm. 
You don't actually have to lie about rape to do that. Mm -hmm. So to make these accusations, and statistically, you're actually probably in the wrong. Mm -hmm. it, it amazes me that that's still the instinctual go-to. Yeah, I'm gonna chime in because um, it, it's been just uh, negativity, you know, every time I switch on the news, and I'm really yeah. trying, especially yeah. for, for my baby and, mm -hmm. and my of family. Course. Like, it's really depressing switching on prime time and there's nothing positive to, 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 you know, to, yeah. to, to read about. Mm -hmm. But it's the reactions that people are having. A lot of the things that um, the government is doing to counter this are reactionary uh, tactics, which also make us look at it as, if this didn't happen, would you have reacted in the same way? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Kenya is part of a charter that signed um, schools being part of a safety zone, all mm -hmm. right? There's many countries that don't consider schools as safety zones. Mm -hmm. But why I'm specifically talking about school and not necessarily the, necessarily the sexual allegations, because mm -hmm. this can happen even at home. Mm -hmm. yeah. It takes a village to raise a child in Africa. Yes, it does. All right? Yeah. But if I don't feel like I can talk to my teacher or if I don't feel like I can even just use the bathroom at 1A, I can use the bathroom at whatever time I want. Mm -hmm. whatever and time then you need and to. then now just your reaction to this and try to make this almost like a PR stunt and I hate the way they're flipping it into a political issue. Mm -hmm. yeah. I really think that psychologically, particularly Moy girls, yeah. it's sick. It's a sick school. Yeah. The establishment yeah, everything. I feel mm -hmm. that um, Again, as Africans, um, the psychological impact and you know what this could do to you yeah. is not taken as the most serious thing. I feel that's it's the most not. serious thing. I think it's the most damaging thing. Yeah. Yeah. So when I hear a statement that says, um, we're taking recess for about a week, um, early midterm, they're gonna expect the kids to jump right back in, perform the way they ought to perform. This is the same school that had previous incidents of things that the kids have not moved on from. Trauma. So I'm thinking, how many other girls have not spoken about things that have happened, whether it's at home. Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't really matter where this happens. Mm -hmm. I feel it's as good as home, yeah. having yeah. your children there. Mm -hmm. And I remember with my husband, we had a chat and we said, this is why our friends mm -hmm. are homeschooling now, when it sounded like an over the top idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're paranoid right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, I wanna raise my child to know that, you know what, this person is as good as me. Yeah. You can talk to this person when I'm unavailable. Yes. And mm -hmm. I trust what you are saying. Mm -hmm. For a government official to react in such a juvenile and insensitive manner and say they don't mm -hmm. want to do the exam. Listen, mm -hmm. I've been in Kenya long enough to know people will do other things, Anything. Yeah. all right, to evade this. Mm -hmm. I think when they were protesting, the images of the kids reacting when they saw press, mm -hmm. they felt like press at least is giving us the chance. Um, to tell girls to keep quiet, trying to gag them, or to discredit um, what their stand is and what they witnessed or what they heard their friends saying. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm curious to know how the numbers are going to be after after this break, as yeah. after they investigate whatever it is that they're trying to do. 100%. I feel I'm just going to send prayers, but it's ill. Society is ill at this point, and I really don't want to be an expert on this, mm -hmm. but I feel... Um, we need to really, 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 really put a little bit more effort mm -hmm. in the counseling. We've got to do that. Absolutely. Moy girls, trust me, this is the second time this year that this is going on and women are being chastised for being raped here. If you want to go and actually give birth to Kenyatta, breastfeed in groups. Remember that story? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the second one. Here, if you want to go and pee in high school, pee in groups. Could you kindly of move on to other things? Let's move on to a story of what I consider to be female empowerment, okay? Right. Uh -oh, so I'm scared. What I consider to be female empowerment. Um, Ella, remind me, it's a kothe. Yes. A kothe. Actually, I don't know why I'm saying it. I, mean, I said it wrong. <laughs> So, yeah. so Akode is representing Kenya in... Can we actually show? <laughs> <laughs> it's blurred. She was representing Kenya at a music festival in London. And she wore an outfit resembling sort of... Someone put pants on it. Wow. Resembling sort of one of Beyonce's. Beautiful. And people took shots at her. Now, what I consider this to be woman empowerment is, one, because my dress, my choice, obviously. And number two... There were fans of hers that made a very solid point that no one talks about Beyonce like this. We're talking about her like this because she's darker. Now, oh, I understand no. the representation of Kenya and people are more concerned about it from that standpoint. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, she is her own woman and should be allowed, quote unquote, to dress how she pleases. Mm -hmm.
First of all, no one can allow Akothe to do anything, right? <laughs> right. No okay. one, no oh, one gives her permission. No permission. No, no, no. Yeah. She does what she wants to do. Um, I will tell you one thing about showmanship and the mm -hmm. different types of artists out there. I am looking at her as an artist who knows that this is definitely going to be clickbait. You're going to talk about it. Of course. She's all about that. Mm -hmm. I think part, a huge part of her career is based on being talked about. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, vocally challenging, dim the lights, Adele type of gown. Is that a Kothe? Probably not. We all know that. Mm -hmm. However, I know why this may rub people the wrong way. Yeah. Um, I think it was a frozen moment mm -hmm. where, you know, <laughs> stuff was out there. The camera whatever. was on like, it. Yeah. Like the frozen moment. Constantly but I'm sure there's many her. other things that um, happened that night. Mm -hmm. But then the distraction here is even if we want to call her a under 10 artists or top 10 artists or whatever this take this took away from what she actually went to do and what yes. she had achieved what um there's been do. a lot of african women trying to get that stage mm -hmm. and, and and you know trying to tour i feel she was pushing it for, for so long she wanted to talk about it for so long but i think there was a distraction there and the, the reality is the same people who make you a star mm -hmm. are the same people it's the same audience it's the same audience mm -hmm. that you're talking to mm -hmm. and um it was it was it was it was in bad taste to be honest not particularly her, because that's an Olga Nato actually outfit. She's the one who designed it. We had her on the table. Oh, well, then we love it. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so I just really think, even as we sit here, right, mm -hmm. um, there was a debate a couple of months ago about, you know, the sick madams and the Danas of the world and the Lydias. We could both wear the same thing. Yes, we And can. I would look like I'm trying to start a fire. <laughs> you see, it's, it's just know yourself and then just know. Dress but, your but, body. But, but are we shocked that a Kose would, no? I, mm -hmm. Probably not. Mm -hmm. It's just that it's, 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 it's not... That frozen moment was, was, was not... It wasn't tasteful. It wasn't tastefully yeah. done. It's like shots. All of us doing pregnancy shots or mm -hmm. whatever. And you have a body, different body frame than mine. Mm -hmm. And it looks different than what it is. That's what pictures do. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think um, artists should now take the responsibility and understand that. Sometimes the thing that you want to highlight... Mm -hmm. She wanted to put on a great show. I really trust that. Mm -hmm. But that frozen moment took away from what she went to do. Yeah. Um, we cannot speak for the photographer. That's that. The picture is out there in yeah. cyberspace. Um, <coughs> those are the things you need to take into account. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. you need to know, am I going to get a wardrobe malfunction? When Janet Jackson had her boob out, everyone talked about the boob. No one talked about okay, her, performance. her performance. Mm -hmm. Justin Timberlake should have suffered for that. I don't want to say. May still. I actually say something? That is um, life and the 12 disciples. Mm. There's a reason that basically photographers, performers are kicking you off the stage. They're kicking you off their comfort zone. They're kicking you out of the backstage area. It's because you never actually... There's something that happens every day after the show. How many people do you have taking pictures? A lot of people. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And you what never you know say? how it's going to be. What do you say? Mm -hmm. Do not take a picture of me and I'm not aware. Do not... Yeah. Akoze, we here. must choose. If you want to take stunts like this and moves like this, because you know what, me, I stand with your bravery, your pushing limits and everything else. However, this picture makes me embarrassed to actually stand with you. However, make sure that the person who's actually responsible you for can't the make images sure about, go, You can't make sure, about, in this time and age, you, you, you never Everyone. know. Everyone's, Everyone's going to take a picture. If, if better Everybody images would have been spammed, if mm. she had a photographer. You can't be uh, in control of that as an artist. Let me ask you a question. If she had a photographer that was actually professionally just for her, mm. spamming the network with pictures faster than this actually whatever. Let's isolate issues. And even, Anna. hold on one second, and a publicist to actually figure out how mm. to take it down. Because mm. yeah. you know what? Everyone has, Britney Spears, wait, find her JJ coming out of a car. You can't find it. Oh my gosh, she totally distracted me with that word. I was about <laughs> to say, I was about to say that this is not the first time we've seen this. Um, I think there's a throwback picture of Amani Yes. And it was all over. Mm -hmm. There was a picture of, I think, Sunny Paytande. Sometimes even just love even handles. Even Beyonce. I think even Della. Yeah. Let's bring it back home. Let's, let's get Beyonce mm -hmm. out of this because all of a sudden everyone wants to use Beyonce as a scorecard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people still find Beyonce's pictures distasteful. There are people who find her, you know, a bit too much. Yeah. But that's what you But I think, I, think, take them I down. think back here, as an artist, your responsibility is to make sure, you, c you I mean, you can't, we can't know what's out there sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, You can never really control that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, as an artist, she had the best intentions as a showman, right? Yes. She went to put on a show. That's what people do. They wear stuff like that. That's just what it is. Mm -hmm. You can't control this. Mm -hmm. You can't Everyone's control the videos. One. You can't control and say, no, no, actually what I meant to do was, 
But if, you, if a lot of people mark your picture as offensive, even your video, you know, like, there's all those videos that go viral on Facebook. Yes. Mm -hmm. Enough people mark them offensive, and if you have a good manager, guess what? It gets taken down before But it, it doesn't popular. change the fact that it was out there. It yeah. doesn't change the fact that it was out there. I saw someone try to delete a tweet, but there's a screenshot of that thing. It's gone. Always. It's already out as there. As soon as it's so in the moment you post I'm it. Think I, like, I like the Photoshop version of, of the pants on uh, because I also can't control you know, what my niece see, sees and what she feels like she wants to wear. But I just want to encourage young, young, young girls out there trying to do their music and stuff. Sometimes that's not what, what we're going for. More is less. Just, dim the, just get a chair, sit down, sing, just do your show and whatever. I feel she felt this particular trolling. Mm -hmm. I think Most. she felt it because usually she'll blast you. But okay, one second, like she kind of hold felt on. This she one. did actually come back. Do you she know what she did. said? She, she did. said, I'm the she president did. of the of single she mothers. Is a they, but they, I'm sorry, not right. You should have been the president of your art, the president Ella, of your I dare past. you to rock this outfit. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I can't rock it, but I'm not the president. I dare you. We should mothers. do an Nicole Fage. Okay, I'm not doing it. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's take it to Nigeria. And Yemi Alade is also making headlines this week. It's been a crazy week, though. You know, what? I can't get my mind it's off LeBron James and, and the shorts. Anyway, <laughs> um, so Yemi Alade. <laughs> Yemi Alade, uh, she was actually in Nairobi. Uh, recently mm -hmm. yes. put on a great show yeah mm -hmm. i'm not i'm not trying to compare anything but i'm just saying so yemi alade uh recently called out police well she was on set trying to film a music video mm -hmm. taking her business very seriously mm -hmm. guess what happened shots fired yes <laughs> <laughs> but not in the way that you think literally shots were fired and this disrupted um what she was trying to do so she called him out and said you know what you're not you're not going to do this like not on my set mm -hmm. um I think there's a protocol. I don't know about Nigeria, but I do know in most of the countries that I've been, mm -hmm. if you're going on set, um, you know, you need to make sure that the vicinity is cleared. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to live bullets, and, hey. you, and, and the issue is not the live bullets, the issue is now, no, you should have cleared first. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have known this first. I think that story doesn't make sense no. to me. I think that doesn't justify live bullets being shot. Mm -hmm. Okay? okay. Yeah. Just like that. That's not cool. Mm -hmm. At, um, so I, I went to the Casper um, concert. And when we were leaving, there was live bullets being fired by the police to try and calm down some people who were kind of raising um, chaos. And for me, that was the most terrifying experience of my life. Because yeah. I assume if a bullet is being fired, it's being fired to someone to hurt someone. So me, that, that was my panic, mm -hmm. right? But I realized that there's, there's a relaxed attitude. Mm. Like when the police feel like they want to kind Don't of assert sense. their power, mm. the first thing they do is do something like, bang, 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 like in the air. One, you don't know how somebody has perceived that. You cause more chaos yeah. and havoc Running. than just simply calming it down. You're a police officer. You have been trained how to control a crowd or a fight without having to use like bullets. Yeah. And that's how a stray bullet goes out and then all you get is a statement of oops, yeah, mm -hmm. no, it's almost it's like it's almost like okay, another life, whatever. I I, I think they it's try to evade and and try not to answer the question of why the life bullets, yeah. why the life bullets. When is, it is necessary? that necessary? But does, have you ever heard of? I've never heard of Kenyan police having rubber bullets. I've I've never had an experience where I feel like it, anyone has ever had any de-escalation. Yeah. yeah, you never gonna hear about it. No, <laughs> like, I. I hope because you know one thing about it is like if you're trying to get an ammunition license in this country, the first thing they say is pulling out your firearm and aiming it at a human being is mm -hmm. just as bad as shooting the person. Mm -hmm. As in honestly, if you take out, an, if I take out my gun and I aim it at you or you or you, I might as well shoot you. It's the same whatever. Mm -hmm. I feel that they should be held to the same accountability because you remember Uhuru Park. There's a story you haven't talked about. There's a couple that were short, mm -hmm. quote unquote, making out in a car. We do not know where the story is, but someone died yeah and someone ended up in hospital because the reaction was to shoot first ask questions later please tell me when a dead body answers questions mm. Mm. i think we should just disarm police boom i think we should disarm police because wow I don't that's think a whole new conversation because i think i think they should be disarmed everywhere though because clearly the u.s is showing that police are escalating and clearly police oh, yeah, have already been at an escalated level here yeah. Yeah. and they don't i don't think i've ever heard of police officers anywhere 
in Africa being taught de-escalation tactics. Yes. It's all a control. You know, yeah. I don't know if it was ever used when you were studying criminal justice, mm -hmm. but my lecturer compared it to a bird swallowing a frog mm -hmm. and the frog's arms around the bird's throat from the outside. Mm. And so the police are feeling as though that they're the frog being mm. swallowed and mm. they have to choke society. No. And that should never be how police are used. They're there as public servants. They're just not there as public the word security. Implies. That's it's what true. the word implies. And I think um, there's better ways to react. Absolutely. And maybe you should go back to that training. Yeah. Um, and, and in all fairness, um, from what we can see and can what we're sharing on this table, mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. just Kenya. Mm -hmm. It's not just Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yes. So the next time, you know, your little one says, when I grow up, I want to be a police. Mm -hmm. Can I say you what? Absolutely not. I have, I'm going to quote you. Everybody just needs a hug. Everybody <laughs> needs a hug. Everybody <laughs> just needs a hug. <laughs> Monique, I feel the world needs a hug. I mean, like no, I'm the world needs more hugs. People are hurt out here, and they're it doing does. things in their own. Hurt in their people own, hurt in, you. Yeah, it's that split second where you make that decision where you feel like, you know what, I don't even care. I'm just mm -hmm. gonna shoot this up in the air. It's crazy. It's not my problem. Mm -hmm. That's Absolutely. how we feel like it. Mm -hmm. For wow. Me. Anyway, I feel like we just have so much to talk about. I just want two shows back to back. <laughs> but anyway, we have more lined up on the show for you. We'll be right back after the break. Let's talk. Come and take a seat, girl. This is what you need. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Come and take a seat, girl. This is what you need. Let's talk. Let's talk. And welcome back because you know one thing about it is I'm so excited when these ladies show up for tea time with all their filters, all their happiness, all their love. And then we have a beautiful guest who just makes me feel like, ooh, damn, she brought the natural back into the house. Mm -hmm. Hi, darling. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. We are here with a beautiful Grace, who's about to tell us how to actually be boss ladies without having to actually pray and spread <laughs> eagle. Spread the eagle? What? Ooh. I was well, gonna like, see you later, mm. alligator. <laughs> <laughs> you actually know one thing, Grace, yeah. here. In a society of socialites, there's very few people that I look up to and you're telling women you can own property without actually having to like do these mystery trips and <laughs> mystery careers. Dubai and, trips. I like how you, you say understand? mystery, like we don't know what they really are. <laughs> mm. I was in the middle of a question here. <laughs> how is it actually mentoring women in a different, being a woman, actually mentoring women and telling women, here, you can do it without actually just being vague about your career? Mm. Mm. But just being normal, yeah. Mm -hmm. But actually, but just showing up for your hustle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's actually it's, I, I feel good about it mm -hmm. being a CEO at uh, turned twenty eight, and uh, I'm I'm running this business that everyone believes it's for the rich, mm -hmm. it's yeah. for the men, the mm -hmm. money, mm -hmm. and I bring to people what is super affordable mm -hmm. like anyone whether you're a hawker whether you're a lawyer mm -hmm. whether you are a socialite whether you, whoever you <laughs> are you can afford a property with my company mm -hmm. so it feels good and also i'm a mother of three babies wow they're girls i, I, I was uh, wow sorry Girl for gang. the story that you just heard about yes. the rape case yeah. that scares me yeah mm -hmm. so um it, it feels awesome when when I come out there and I tell people, you know what, I'm a single mom of three babies. Yeah. And guess what, I am making it. And it didn't just happen. The, there was a process into it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not just here for those who have made it. I'm, yeah. I'm here for that person who is struggling, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. that person who want to be somebody in the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, it feels good. And then just looking at my clients, 90% mm -hmm. of my clients are women. We're and going guess somewhere. Yeah. And guess what? Mm -hmm. Young women. Mm -hmm. it, and and it, it makes me feel like the culture has really changed. Yes. You know? yeah. We're no longer in that time where we, are, we used to be told, you can, you, we mm. Yes. You know, mm. now we want to we own properties, our own. properties, you know, we want to have our own. Mm -hmm. And, and it kind of makes you feel powerful. Yeah, like that's not where the aspiration lies like mm -hmm. anymore, where it's just about, okay, which family do you come from? Right. Oh, who are you married to? What's your surname? Mm -hmm. oh. Who's your husband and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. before we get into um, your company and yeah. you know, you're, you're beautiful, you're strong, you're mm -hmm. hardworking. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned um, it didn't start off like that. I think no, entrepreneurship is. is scary, the thought of it. Yeah. it Especially scary. in Terrifying. Africa, right? Yes. Um, Let's talk about the, the trap people call employment. Mm. Some people call it that. Some people disagree. <laughs> mm. Some people say you need to learn how to be a boss. Mm -hmm. You have to be employed, or you know, for yes. a couple of years. But mm. some people get stuck in it. You know, yes. there's so many perks in there, and a lot of people fear stepping into that. Mm. Take us through how you started off, 
and then you finally <sighs> said, I'm a CEO. I am mm -hmm. I know, right? Yeah. This is a story I, I love sharing. There was a time I was very embarrassed. There was a time I was, I was feeling like I'm too weak. I, I, you know, I, I was feeling really bad about my situation. Mm -hmm. But guess what? It has changed. Mm -hmm. I feel so good when I tell people. Um, I, I, when I, I graduated from college when I was 20, and then my 21st year, I happened to date a boyfriend who, who owned uh, a law firm and his friend was owning an architectural firm. Mm -hmm. So yes. I was able to secure a job mm -hmm. and I was able to, I was getting paid uh, around 50K. At 21. At mm -hmm. 21. And then now having, dating a rich boyfriend. I, I love, this is a girl talk. Yeah. 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 I'm like, you are doing good. I'm like, yeah. you are doing good. Because yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. normally people think I'm crazy when I say, you know what, me, I'm sorry if you're broke or not. Oh, yeah. No, but at 21, you can't sit like, yeah. that's, that's not oh, too bad. Yeah. And then he's, he's, he's good. He doesn't yeah. need your money. He spoiled mm -hmm. me, bought me a car at that age. Yeah. And Dang. I started living the life. So you see, my life started from where? Up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then coming from a family that we we are not that rich but i had enough from my parents like yes. i could stay i could say my parents gave me a good life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so 21 gave birth to my firstborn baby at ease had everything 22 uh at, at the age of 23 i, I kind of used to feel like i'm living the life of a 50 year old woman mm -hmm. you know like having worked so hard built a house owning up a, a, a bit, two cars Mm -hmm. uh, having a car of your own, you know, that kind of a life. Yeah. Yeah. So at some point I used to think I'm going to die young. And yeah. that's why God is bringing everything yeah. at that tender age. But I, uh, I think God was trying to give me a taste of what good life is. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. probably when I get to that point, the rock bottom, uh, everything just goes south. Mm -hmm. I'd want to go back to that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, comes at the time I even worked with Kenya Airways as a cabin crew, mm -hmm. but it was not enough. I had so much passion for interior design, mm -hmm. so I had enough money to start a company uh, from my previous life and mm -hmm. from the father of my kids and what yes. he had made. But we broke up, and I was still okay. Mm -hmm. You see, and uh, that is 2015, 2016 mm -hmm. comes, and I meet a guy. Mm -hmm. This is why I have it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I know, I, and, and I'm like, I remember when, uh, when 2015, going into 2016, I made a prayer and I told God, God, next year, I have to be the woman. You know, I want mm. to be a real woman. I want to own a, a, an empire. Mm. I want to have a better life. I want to start a family. And voila, guess what? Mm. Hey, this guy comes. And I'm thinking, God has answered my prayer. Mm. You know, <laughs> he's, he's good looking. He was all I wanted from a man. Mm. But you know, men can actually make themselves be what oh, that they can want. They can you know? on a show. Shape yeah, they can, you know. Mm. And yeah, unfortunately, he wasn't the person I used to think he was. Yeah. And it got to a point, I get pregnant, and the guy is no longer the guy I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? And then, uh, you know, the first trimester comes with nausea. And all, and this company that I was running, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> so you can not a distant memory. <laughs> you know? um, uh, and, and I couldn't do nothing. And this company entirely depended on me. Mm -hmm. So at that point, as a woman, you expect your man to be more caring mm -hmm. and tell you, you know what, just relax. Let me go to the hustle mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. come uh, bring you everything you need. Mind you, I have I had two babies. My babies were in a very good school, so mm -hmm. school fees is expected. Um, uh, rent, food, you know, just to yeah. give them that life. Yeah. Then this guy decides, I'm not going to do anything. I stay in the house, watch movies, mm. and uh, I only come out when I have something to do out That there. is even more nauseating than that. <laughs> right? <laughs> that, that, that would, oh. Yes. Were you keeping him? Because it sounds like you were babysitting. That's what she's yeah. saying. Are you? No, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. I wasn't. Yeah. He, he also had a company was running, mm. but freelancing and all. No, yeah. I wasn't keeping him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, I, I started thinking, my God, this is bad. Mm -hmm. And I realized I, I need to act fast. But you know what? I'm still pregnant. I mean, I'm still going through yeah. those things. Wow. So now comes a day. <laughs> Everything <laughs> was too much. And I felt I need to release. But you know what? The more, you know, when, when you get to that point, men, they, they can tell. This mm -hmm. chick. Mm. She's going off. Yeah. yeah. She's and so and you know men men's ego, they don't want to feel like when you make watch. Mm. Yeah. So mm. they go ahead and do something. Mm -hmm. But I have never shared this deep. 
I just touched touch it. This is the place. This is So, and he realized this girl is going off. Mm -hmm. So I better act before it happens. And I remember one night I was sick. I was uh, in my, my partner. The wife is my very good friend. Mm -hmm. yes. And she told me, just come to my house. Uh, I take care of you because this guy was nowhere to be found. <laughs> And then my friend from Dubai calls me and tells me, Shiro, Ebu in your Facebook side. I'm like, wala. Mm. Haraka, get to it's my public. Facebook. And I see a chick has tagged me as, uh, pictures of my guy, the father of my pregnancy, mm. with a chick in Mombasa. And you know, some very dirty, she naughty. Tagged you. Yeah. Mm. Petty. And, and this is a chick that was having oh, a so fight petty. with. And I was like, my God. My mom is my friend. Of Facebook, yeah. <laughs> my dad, you know, my like brother. Like why? Like why would you do that? Yeah, like why and, you Look, and and she says something very funny, like Shiro, your baby daddy. I watch out for Siju Gonorrhea, your baby daddy. What? It was bad, mm. and I, I was able to delete the post. And I called him. I told him, whatever it is your women are doing, don't get me involved because mm. I still want to keep my corporate world mm -hmm. safe mm -hmm. and also you know your reputation is key Absolutely. when, when yeah. you're working with the uh, big people you're doing interior design and your so sanity exactly yeah. and your you sanity know? that's emotional torture Ooh, and then you know this this is it I, I need to look for a way to exit but uh things things got to me mm -hmm. <laughs> it was bad to a point i remember on, and this is january 26th i gave my life to christ and i was like you know what god Amen. just take it <laughs> take this is too much for me and uh, I, I th when, I, when I said a prayer, I told God, you know what? Take over my life. At this point, remember, I can't do nothing for my kids. So I had already taken my kids to my parents. And I told mom, dad, please don't ask anything. Just, I know you can keep them well. Just, just have my kids for now. I give me one year, mm -hmm. I'll be back. But in my head, I'm thinking, oh my God, mm. one year? And I'm pregnant, what's gonna come? But I kept on, I'm, I'm, I'm close to my daddy in heaven. I'm close to my God. And I, I, kinda, I had a conversation with him. I told him, I know I have really messed up. But the worst thing that can happen to a mother, especially a single mother, is to drag your kids into your shit. Mm. You know? And I remember my husband looking at me and she's like, Mommy, are you going to come back for us? I'm like, yeah, I'll oh. come back. Oh. But when I look forward, I see I'm going to this guy's house. And I'm like, no, I don't want to be in this house. And I remember my partner and his wife kept on saying, that house mm. but you know what I didn't have money to start a life and mm. you know having your own life you know you control your everything just going to someone and telling them you feel so hot mm. you feel like a pana, you know mm. I'm being a nag I'm, mm. I'm being a bother to people but the prayer I made and told God take over trust me it was you know the pruning stage where you have to be cut and the branches of the fruits die, you know, mm. and it's time for you to sprout again. Mm -hmm. I went through that, but I thank God I was in the right hands with uh, my friend, my partner's wife mm. and himself. So it comes to a point, one Sunday I'm leaving church and I find someone with a woman in bed. Mm. And that was my time to leave. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 just take me back. <laughs> Sorry, uh, you, you came from church. Yeah. You're out here being a good girl. I still remember the oh March 5th. Mm -hmm. March 15th. Wow, look at I that. I will never forget that day. I find someone, and this is the house I'm living with you, and you know, and for me, God. to tell you the truth, I've never shed a tear for that day. I kind of knew this was divine. I kind of knew this was the turning point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't put up a fight. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is what you guys have decided. Mm -hmm. You decided to come to my house, and you've seen my clothes here, you've seen my everything, mm -hmm. you've seen my kids' utensils, you know, the Dora. The mm. yeah. And you're also a mother like me, mm. doing this to me, it's fine. So I told them, you guys, give me three hours, I take what is mine, and I leave you the house. Because mm -hmm. you know what? I didn't know where to go. <laughs> I did not know where to go. I don't have the money and all. Luckily, I was with my partner's wife, and she was like, you don't worry, just, just forget about everything. She wrote, you're pregnant. Just think about the baby on board. Mm. Like so. So I took, I called my brother, I was like, take everything that belongs to me, sitaki, you know? Mm. And then now it was time for me to start afresh, but I didn't know where. So we went to my partner's house and we told him the story and he was laughing. He was like, you know what, you chick, I told you, it was time for you to move. Don't go to, you know, mm. like he, he could tell with it the was stories time. I was, I was yes, it telling was them, you know? Yeah. 
And yes, uh, he told me, Shiro, my house is big. Yeah. And you've been our friend for such a long time. We, my wife and I are inviting you over to our house and just take a rest. Mm -hmm. Think about nothing. Think about just yourself and yourself and yourself. Guys, a, a round of applause for friends <laughs> like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Who, has, who yeah. would do yeah. that? For those kind of friends. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's, that's a turning point. Oh yes. Because they could have easily said, okay, um, no, all right, yeah, later. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yes, it's all right, yeah. sort yourself out. Mm. Yes. Mm. In fact, I had first approached him and I'm like, why don't you just give me like 100K? Mm. Uh, I start a life. He's like, no, you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Mm. Take a rest in my house. Mm -hmm. You're under my care, my wife's care. Mm -hmm. Just take a rest. Mm -hmm. None will ever bother you. Do whatever it is that mm -hmm. you want, but be under our care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this also the same time I was growing spiritually. So it was a good mm. time. And yeah. but still, you know, being being new, you have you know, in your head you're like, wait a minute, my kids are with my mom. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am pregnant in it's someone tough. else's yeah. house. Mm. It can be that serious, mm. you know. And in my head, all I wanted was, I, I was tired of even me being me mm. at that point because I realized that the, the, the decisions I had made in the past, depending on my own understanding, mm. that had gotten me there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I kept on telling God, God, I don't want to depend on my own understanding. I want you to show me what to do. I want you to, you know, you know better. You know better than me. Mm -hmm. And uh, just that, just take me there. Where is that place that you want me to be? Mm. Can and now that I am on my lowest, I cannot go lower. So I knew the only option was to go high and to That's fly. True. Can wow. we go I, up? I wasn't scared of crawling. I wasn't scared of taking the one two step. I wasn't scared of you know like, mm -hmm. and and that was it. And I remember, in my bed, very pregnant, I was like, wait a minute, what is it that I'm going out? Why am I in, in my, my my friend's house? If, or if that time I had so much money, I said having a recap of my life. Mm. That time I had all the money and I didn't even know what to do with the money. Mm. What if, what if I bought at least a piece of land? Mm -hmm. At this time when everything, I don't have nothing, I would have probably taken my title deed and sold the land to someone. Mm. And mm -hmm. you know, get the money. Mm -hmm. Why is it that we have so many street families out there, the kids and the women and the men? It's because they don't have a place to call a home, mm -hmm. you get? Mm -hmm. And I realized we have a big problem in housing in Africa yeah. and to be specific in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I want this struggle. Uh, I want this, what I'm going through right now to be, a co uh, it's called a, a correction uh, uh, suffering. Mm -hmm. I want, the, the only reason I suffered this year is mm -hmm. because God wants me to create a solution someday. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and I started thinking about, thinking about it. And at the same time, my partner, he had also thought about housing and I remember walking down the stairs and I'm like, I think I have an idea. I think I have a business <laughs> I want us to do. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned, and he was able to pick, was like, that is the thing, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And now we sat down, he, uh, he has done, a, he had a very successful business, still has, and which ha does money lending and all. Mm -hmm. And I come with an idea and I'm like, you know what, we are not doing this for those people who can afford. Yeah. Let's think about the person who is in my shoe today, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And we're like, how about if we, Let's, let's call it a journey, mm -hmm. a journey that you walk together. And we don't want to start from picking the, the fruit, you don't know where the roots came from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's start from digging, mm -hmm. yeah? Let's manure the, uh, put the seed, manure it, mm -hmm. water, yeah, and everything else. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I had to give birth first, and I gave birth to a very beautiful baby. <laughs> <laughs> Her name is Kylie. I know yeah. she's watching. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah, and and, and my other baby, let me mention them. Sheridan. Hi, Hi. Sheridan. Cheryl. Because they, they will fight me if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Three girls. Yeah. Nice. So um, the baby came, mm. and I couldn't wait to just start working. Yeah. Yeah. And unfortunately, I had to leave a little bit earlier, mm. but I had her taken care of. Mm -hmm. And we started. But now, this is where many people ask, how did you start? Mm. You know, we, we, my partner and I always say, when you have an idea, if you wait for the money, mm -hmm. chances are you won't get to do it. Mm -hmm. Because you, you don't always have the money, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So where, where at, at, at this point where we are at, where do we start from? Yeah. And we thought of, the, we call it a Kodi Kodi journey where you start by owning up a plot, paying for a uh, monthly installment, mm -hmm. for a longer period of time. Mm -hmm and getting the plot mm -hmm. for yourself and then now we can get you build a house mm -hmm. bring up fantastic a house, mm -hmm. you know? i even like the, the the ring to to kodi kodi it kodi sounds kodi. like well, it listen i can get that yeah i love it mm. and for the longest time um and, and and your story is beautiful yet 
painful Tragic. at the same time, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. But that's where beautiful ideas are birthed mm -hmm. from. Yes. I, I think um, many times, you know, when they run ads about property ownership, whether mm -hmm. it's here or in another country, mm -hmm. especially in Africa, as you've pointed mm -hmm. out, mm -hmm. it sounds so unattainable. Like, mm -hmm. it's it's for scary, the, this yeah. ad is running for somebody else. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm just watching it, but I just don't feel like they're talking to me. Yes. Um, you said you've had a, you have a huge um, client base of women. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Is it something you intentionally no tried to do? It's no, just, mm. it just happened. I think you know when 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 I came out and guys like my idea and I have people calling me for these motivational mm -hmm. talks and all and I give people my story. I don't give my people the story to, mm -hmm. for you to pity me. No, I'm no longer living that mm -hmm. life. I, I'm in a, 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 a new page. Mm -hmm. It's because you can relate. Mm -hmm. I can relate to that person who earns 50,000. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can relate to that person who earns 30,000. I can relate to that person who earns 100,000. I can relate to that person who, can make, who makes a million mm -hmm. a month. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it's just the fact that it's working for most Kenyans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. when I come and tell you, pay 500 bob every day mm -hmm. for 23 months mm -hmm. and you get a property, mm -hmm. wouldn't you do it? It's true. Listen, we need to talk <laughs> after this. Right? <laughs> you, you, like the wheels begin like turning. I'm starting and to like, feel, and there's something. a way that you're selling, which is part of her gift, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. When yeah. she's talking, mm -hmm. like you're selling without selling. I don't know if you're it's connected. part of your tactic, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but you it's feel working. The connection. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I feel like you're, you, you have a fiction. way of, yeah, mm -hmm. it's a, yes. the way that you're doing it. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's light in the... It's good. It's game time. We had so much more. I know, right? take a seat, girl. This is what you need. Let's Oh, so today the challenge is actually what are my challenge because I want to be a property owner, but I'm not there yet. However, if I can describe this and whoever can guess, it's an individual challenge. All five of us are playing. So I have a card. Can I dance? So I shall demonstrate. Yes, <laughs> you can't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I shall demonstrate. Please pass the cards down the table. Everyone has to. So um, I'll read out what it is without well, telling you what to. it is and then mm -hmm. whoever guesses first wins is that okay oh, okay let's see how big your imagination is <coughs> i'm made of rubber you blow on my hole one prick and it's all over <laughs> one <laughs> balloon. Balloon. Sorry. there you have it i like <laughs> that's a big laugh <laughs> oh, <sorry. coughs> okay fine <clears throat> i'm long thick firm cool and I stay hard for days when I get old I go soft what am I banana I was thinking cucumber actually oh. <gasps> yeah <laughs> I'm sorry so Dana now takes <laughs> over <laughs> <laughs> all right what goes up and down but does but does not move see so what am I it goes up and down, but it doesn't move. You know, the answer is not written. I think it's a seesaw. I, I would assume it's a seesaw. Um, up and down, but does not move. Up and down, does not move. Let's go with seesaw because... Bicycle pump. Stairs. Oh, stairs. stairs. Oh, yeah. Of course okay. it's stairs. But those could both be answers, though. <laughs> right? Producer. Honestly. Uh -huh. mm. Still me. Mm -hmm. All right. I have... It looks like atlets, but no... Oh. Atlas, but no houses, forest, but no trees, river, but no water. What am I? Google Maps. Right? <laughs> right? I'm just uh, too bright. Ad oh, attics, but no house, forest, but no trees, rivers, but no water. Oh my God, I don't know. I Ella's, Ella's disqualified. I want to say the um, I want to say the one where it's like your land with everything being double, but I feel like that's like a like, globe. Well, addicts have two oh. two T's, and then the, an the answer is map. It's a map. I said globe. It's like a the map. globe of the world. That works. I think we should take <laughs> okay. it. This is a hard All right. challenge. Okay. All right. We're embarrassing ourselves. War has many keys, but. Who is what, writing what? these? What? <laughs> <laughs> what is many keys but can't open any door? Many mm -hmm. keys but can't open any doors. Piano. Boom. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> <laughs> you asked it and answered it yourself. Oh, how are you? Oh my gosh, just to know Are you ready? Yeah. Please but kill this as a oh. Shiro thing since I've been disorganized. <laughs> and okay, let me do this one. Okay. What can clap without any hands? 
Ooh, Ella. I can't say that on TV. Yeah, like I was it. about to. <laughs> Ella can club. <laughs> I was like about to yell it. And I'm like, so wait. What clap without any hands? What claps? Mm. Claps with no hands. <laughs> Other than what we're all thinking, okay? Other than everything. I don't know. Honestly, I'm just. <laughs> okay. Would you it's like to answer? answer? Yeah. Go on. Thunder. You guys have ah. been listening to it for I don't know how long. Oh my God. I don't understand okay. what's going on. Would you like to go today. next? Thunder Clap. Honestly. Okay, okay. Let me, let me do this one. Um, what has an eye but cannot, see. but cannot see? An eye but cannot see. Oh, I know this one as well. That's the problem. A needle? <laughs> no. Yeah, a needle. Yes, the eye, of the, eye needle. of the needle. No. Eye of the tiger. No, wait. That <laughs> <laughs> That's a song. <laughs> Can Ella, what's see? the answer? It's a hurricane. But a needle what? also works, and guys. No, this that doesn't make sense. I don't All right, uh, the okay. I have a hurricane. It's okay. Um, it, it can make sense to you. Uh, <laughs> what becomes smaller when it's turned upside down? It's a number. It's a number. Becomes oh. smaller when it's turned upside Not down. Eight. Mm. Nine. It would be nine. Because oh. it's six. You I took it. You oh took it. I took it. Let me tell you, the one thing I love about pregnancy is they, to deliver this child, I don't need to ask, you know, to right. ask any question. I'm not myself. Boom. I don't get it. <laughs> All right. What, what can you catch but never throw? A cold. A cold? A cold. A cold? They, Lydia. Yeah. Oh, sorry, she got it. Catch yeah. Oh, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> A cold. A cold. Yeah. <laughs> What's the easiest way to double your money? Cut it in half. Um, after <laughs> this, <laughs> what's the what? investing way in Cody to Cody? Your money. Should we to say that? Your money. It'd be investing in Cody well, Cody. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Double your answer. money. That's the real oh, answer. I oh, put it in front of a mirror. God. Ah, you guys. Really. Listen, this okay. has been this is my this least is favorite game. game. This, this is Awful. this is my least favorite game. But I must say our winner today for this challenge is Miss Lydia. <laughs> Are you on a winning <laughs> streak? <laughs> She's definitely on a streak. I am getting way better. Could it yeah. be the hair? It must be. It must be. Sorry to so. have to torture you. It's fine. You guys made me feel dumb. <laughs> Don't, but let me tell you what you're smart about. Mm -hmm. This Cody Cody business mm -hmm. is looking good. And I'm telling you, after this show, you're probably going to get a couple of yeah. clients. Not um, necessarily yes. women, because mm -hmm. we know the guys are watching as well. If yes. you are watching, mm -hmm. um, you can get on the hashtag Ibru Let's Talk. Mm -hmm. But before uh, we let you go, there's a couple of more questions. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm thinking about how, you know, you got to this point and now you started off your business. Um, do you ever regret the entrepreneurial journey? Do you ever feel like... It was too Maybe hard. I could have just gone back and gotten employed. Mm -hmm. Never ever. Oh my <laughs> God, I've never actually thought about it. Mm. So that means I've never thought. I've never. Yes. Missed. Yes. Mm -hmm. You've never had any regrets yeah. Yeah. or yeah. felt I've, like you want to go back. Mm -hmm. I've got to no, ask I don't something. Go back. Mm -hmm. I have to ask something because tomorrow is Shady Thursday, and I feel like a lot of people think the same thing. Every time that someone t gives you an offer that's too good to be true, and I'm talking about everything that I've had, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. What are the hidden costs? Because people invest mm -hmm. blindly mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. actually knowing mm -hmm. if you actually default or, because there's, trust me, nothing in this world is free. Yeah, yeah. sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Tell mm -hmm. me. Uh, so, wh wh what we do is we give you, we give you a longer period mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. pay for your property, mm -hmm. yeah? So when you come to us, for instance, let me just talk about the, the a project we just launched on mm -hmm. Monday, mm -hmm. was the other day. Yes. It's going. It's in a gated estate. Mm -hmm. It has uh, shared amenities: swimming pool, basketball, lawn tennis, a field mm -hmm. for kids, uh, borehole, electricity, and then every, uh, beautiful landscaping. Mm -hmm. wow. So when you come to us and you tell me, "Hey, Grace, I want to own this property," mm -hmm. I tell you, "Fine." It's going for three hundred and fifty thousand mm -hmm. per plot. So I'm, I will give you. We have something called patient capital. Mm -hmm. I'll give you twenty-three months mm -hmm. to pay for it. So you pay fifteen. In, in fact, for the new project, you're paying fourteen thousand mm -hmm. every month mm -hmm. for twenty-three months. Mm -hmm. And yes, as you said, uh, or five hundred thousand. Oh, I forgot that. Mm -hmm. Five hundred. Uh, five hundred bob mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. for, uh, mm -hmm. for the twenty-three months. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we we don't have any hidden um, charges, mm -hmm. but of course. Of, we in business. The business mm. aspect. If you default, mm -hmm. we have a small fee that mm -hmm. we charge. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is to encourage you to keep on paying. Because mm. if I tell you, uh, oh, how not pass our, you know, mm. that that will uh, will end up not being in business. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we charge a small fee of ten percent mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. monthly installment. 
So you, it's uh, 14,000 every month. Mm -hmm. We charge you 1,400 for mm -hmm. defaulting. For defaulting. Which is fair enough. Which is which is fair enough, mm -hmm. right? I mean. And if, if let's say you don't pay up for three months mm -hmm. and you're like, uh, I call you, I'm like, um, and Ella, why are you not paying? <laughs> and you're like, oh, it's not person any. Mm -hmm. You know, she happens in life. Mm -hmm. This is what I tell you. Uh, instead of giving you back your money, mm -hmm. I will hold your money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course you have to agree. Mm -hmm. And then hoping that mm -hmm. when you are launching another project, mm -hmm. you could come on board. Yeah, because yes. with with property you will never lack a client. Exactly. You always have people waiting. Yeah. At least there'll Real be a head start. Real yeah. estate. Yeah. So yeah. I, we we hold the money for you, and the minute we launch another one, mm. I'll call you. I'll be like, hey. Uh, we are launching this project. Mm. It's you still place. have your money. We still have your money. Mm -hmm. How about I throw this money into this project? Are you ready to continue, continue the payments? You know, yeah. and you, you continue. You have a good heart for real estate and, and property. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling really content because I was feeling like, you know, like even Amshari and all these other, mm. um, yeah. everything mm. has hidden costs. Mm. Yes. Yeah. You never know how it will become the thing that harasses you. Mm. You know, yeah. um, I'm from a single parent family. Mm -hmm. Hey mom, I love you. <laughs> um, And maybe there's somebody here who's first of all listened to your story and mm. probably seen so many similar similarities with theirs and their struggle before we wind up yes. where can somebody go to get your company details to get your company information mm -hmm. and perhaps start this journey yeah, yeah. so we have a website www.kodikodi.co.ke mm -hmm. We're also on Facebook, mm -hmm. you can also on Facebook, mm -hmm. and our offices are at Gigiri, mm -hmm. UN, behind Village Market. Mm -hmm. There's an office called Eaton Place, we're mm -hmm. on second floor. You'll oh, you're doing well for yourself, girl. You are. <laughs> this is amazing. You know, the entire week, I was talking to a couple of friends of mine, and I said, you know, um, they put um, Angarita as the face of corruption, and, you know, women can't catch a break. Definitely. I mean, it's, it's just like, listen, we need a lot of positivity and good mm -hmm. women and good women mm -hmm. in the forefront mm -hmm. doing great things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, I applaud you for doing what you do. Thank and you. if there's women watching here and thinking, you know, what, real estate or property management is not for us, it is. It mm -hmm. is. She's it's a living testimony. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. It's not about the hurdles. We're definitely, definitely going to get your business card and we'll oh, be yeah. in touch. I'm about sure. to ask where that plot is. I know, right? I swear. <laughs> oh my gosh, I really enjoyed myself. I know we all Thank did. Yeah. yeah. No. Let me tell you, tea honestly. time, a little business. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's I feel, I feel relieved after telling my story because oh. there's people Girl, this is the this table. Is the table. This is the place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anytime, yeah. anytime. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you so much me. for hanging out with us. Oh my gosh, she's just a breath of fresh air. And yes, she's anything, a <laughs> anything, <laughs> anything can be achieved. Yeah. Make sure you're here with us every single Wednesday, Thursday and Friday from 6 p.m. Kesho, same time right here with yet another fantastic guest. Have yourself a fantastic evening. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.